Hello everybody, it's Alia. Welcome back to my channel for another reading. Thank you so much for joining me here once again. Um, thank you for your continued love and support. To my loyal subscribers and viewers, welcome back. To the new viewers, um, welcome and hopefully you would resonate with, with me and my readings. So uh, today's topic is an energy update. We're gonna look at to, we're, we're gonna look to see what is your person thinking and feeling about you right now. Okay, this second. So remember these these type of energies, um, you know they they fluctuate. Okay, but we're gonna find out to see what's on your person's mind right now and what's in their heart right now. All right. And uh, so yeah, I have three decks for you guys to choose from. So let me get started and introduce you guys to the. To the deck so just zoom in a little bit so the first deck is the gold foil tarot with carnelian um crystal the second pile number two i mean this is pile one pile, pile number two is the tarot grand lux and it's malachite uh crystal okay and group three is the the nightmare before christmas uh tarot deck and it's Dalmatian stone. So take a moment, center yourself, take a couple of deep breaths. When you're ready, choose the deck or decks you're drawn to. So please go ahead and make your selection. Have you chosen? If you need more time, please pause the video for now. Let's get started. Group one, welcome if you've chosen Carnelian and the Gold Fall Terror. This is your reading. We're gonna put this right over here. Okay, so let's use the psychic tarot to see what does what is your person what's on your person's mind right now, and we're gonna clarify. What is on your person's mind right now about you? What does your person think about you right now? about you and the connection okay first card we have is master so the devil's uh, devil energy okay this is the devil in the in the regular in the classical deck okay let's get one more card, one more card. what's on your person's mind regarding you and the connection we have flow which is the wheel of fortune okay and believe and succeed the six of one so right now i feel like your person is stuck between their ego and their and their um need, i would say, maybe need is not the right word it's like they either want to be like stuck in their ego and be a bit obsessive obsessively thinking about you or want, wanting to control certain aspects of your connection or obsessively thinking about you which is the devil's energy but at the same time here with the six of wands is a card of victory which is also being a, a bit of an egotistical card with um an understanding to go with the flow so it's like they have almost like this back and forth it's a, almost like an inner struggle to try to to relinquish their need for control even obsessive thinking and and the other aspect of them wanting to take things you know as they come going with the flow so there's a bit of inner struggle here yeah um let's let we're gonna clarify the cards and find out more Let's see, this deck is very, very thin. I love this deck, the Gold Fork Tarot, but it's really thin. Okay, so let's see. What's up? Please clarify Master. So what's interesting here with the Master, you could see how he has his heart behind bars here. So very protective of their heart, right? But with the Devil, we, all, we know Devil is about, it's about... Um, on top of obsession, obsessive thinking and all that, it's also a card of fear, okay? So maybe afraid, for some of you, this new person might be afraid to open up, afraid to be vulnerable, afraid to let you in, um, you know, afraid to love even, 
very protective of their heart, master here. Why? Master, they try to master their feelings or have some sort of control. But what's interesting, like I said, the wheel of fortune here, which is going with the flow, right? And look at that, he's, he's, he's in water. So which is water represents emotions. And this, whatever is behind him, looks like the sun. So it's a very happy card, but it's a going with the flow, being in this, in this bliss, right? Um, enjoying, it's almost like enjoying, um, being in touch with, their, with his senses here, just, just enjoying the, the moment, being immersed in the moment. And here, which is like quite a contradiction here, being so fearful and so trying to be in control, but yeah. I guess it's a battle they can't win, right? Please clarify, Master, what is this about? The devil. <laughs> the devil clarifying the devil. So definitely they have some obsessive thoughts about you, big time. At the same time, very afraid. This The devil also talks about feeling trapped, all right? So for some of you, maybe your person is trapped in some sort of circumstance. That's just for some of you. For most of you, your person, like I said, obsessive, obsessively thinking about you, have a strong need to control, maybe controlling which way the connection goes, that kind of thing, or very fearful. So take what resonates, okay? What's with the flow, wheel of fortune? Justice. Okay, so justice is all about fairness, right? It's also a card of, really justice has no emotions. It's a very objective card, yeah? It's a logical type of energy. So which interesting, like I said, maybe part of them want is stuck in this devil energy and then the other part that just wants to, they kind of going back and forth. It's like a wheel, right? So they're very much in their head. So we have Capricorn here that's, that's very, very coming through very strongly. We have also Libra, right? And we have also fire, fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, um, and what's it, Aries. Sorry about the trash truck outside, somebody. Um, yeah, so sorry about that noise. Um, I was gonna say something about trash. I'm thinking more like baggage, someone who has a lot of emotional baggage, yeah? Uh, or maybe just negativity, mm -hmm. um, emotional trash, if you will, that they hold on to. Could be that they, they taking on whatever issues from the past or taking in, taking that onto your connection. It could be that. Please clarify the six of wands. The Hierophant. So the Hierophant is a card of institutions uh, such as churches, you know, beliefs, religion, all of that. It's also a card of commitment. So we have a lot of me. We have a, actually, except for the Six of Wands, all of these cards, five cards are major arcana. So it seems to me like whatever is happening, this connection is very important, and whatever is happening internally with your person is very serious. Okay, these thoughts keep coming over and over and over again. So they feel, it's almost like there's a spiritual aspect to your connection. They feel very drawn to you. They feel like, like I said, obsessively thinking about you they can get you out of their head whatever is happening between you guys i mean whether you guys are together right now in separation actually most of you are in some sort of challenge challenging connections but whatever is happening your person is having some serious thoughts about you so let's say you're dealing with somebody who you haven't talked to in a while a long while i should say maybe this person had moved on maybe they're married to someone else for some of you but well, this person still hasn't has never really moved on not you know not really because they're very much stuck on you right on the flip side because i'm getting so many scenarios coming through this may be obsessive thinking they, they could have maybe living in regret thinking what could have happened if i was if i if I had a life with this person, um, if I build a life, if I marry this person, what will happen if I marry them? So it's some serious, serious thoughts. It's like, wow. I mean, this is not just, like I said, like even though the reading, it's energy update, what's happening right now, I feel like these thoughts 
is thoughts like almost like they're companions. They're always in their head about that. Okay, <laughs> two cards have just flipped. We have reconciliation, actually three cards. We have reconciliation, so a lot of you guys are separated, all right? So if you are in separation, this person very much wants to come back, all right? Is thinking about reconciling, trying to do things, you know, maybe how to right a wrong with you, how to come back uh, to you. And when they do come back, maybe they want this serious commitment once again. Some of you are married or in separation. This person wants, has no intentions of letting you go. If, uh, for example, you never took the relationship to the neck, the connection to the next level, maybe this person is thinking about commitment. But regardless of what's happening, this person heavily has, has, Reconciliation heavily on their mind. Says someone from your past is returning to your life. And then we have you deserve love. You are lovable. Look, look, look at the aim. And they're aiming, you are their target. And then we have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Maybe, maybe you guys are at a distance right now, and maybe they, they want to be on a honeymoon with you. Maybe they want to go somewhere with you. They want to travel to you or travel with you to somewhere where you can be alone, all right? Some of you, we have children here, um, bottom deck energy, some of you have known each other when you were much younger, or it could be here that maybe your children are a factor here in this connection, whether from your end or their end. Maybe they wanna have children with you for some of you. Um, yeah. But I feel like they, with the, again, I have to go back with the Wheel of Fortune and Justice. It's almost like they feel your connection is destined somehow, all right? Um, they, they can't move on from you. They feel like, you know what, there's still more things to do. You're meant to be together, that kind of thing. And you're tied together. Look at these two individuals here. They're, they're chained up together, right? And they feel like it's beyond their control, right? So let's clarify these cards. And if this is not somebody you've known from the past, you know, or for example, it's not like a, a spouse or someone you've had a relationship with. If this is somebody felt like, uh, I think most of you, I was gonna, I was gonna say something else, but I think most of you, this is a person you've known. You've known and you're in separation and they want reconciliation, yeah. Never mind. If you don't resonate with this, choose another path. But I feel like most of you guys have known each other, you've had a serious relationship, um, and they want to take things to the next level, right? What's for the reconciliation? Please clarify. The fool, jumping in, you know, taking that leap of faith, coming back, taking a chance on you once again. What's for the deserve? You deserve love. Uh, six of Wands again, want to win you over, want to chase you. Six of Wands here, Six of Wands here. You know, it's want to conquer you once again. What's with the Honeymoon? Page of Cups. Yeah, they have an offer uh, for you. They want to make amends. They want to come back. They want to maybe take you somewhere, travel with you, that kind of thing. What's with Children? The world. So the world is, it's either a new cycle or a, a closing of a cycle. It's a card of success as well. It's also a card of distance. Um, I'm thinking why children clarify by the world? Why is that? I don't get it. Let's see. We, so we have a lot of major arcana here. So we have the the three of cups so the children for some of you okay could be the third party here all right um maybe the world here can talk about distance maybe you guys broken up or distance yourself from one another maybe because of children or maybe one of you wanted children the other one didn't want children or uh, or maybe you guys have known each other as children or when you were much younger and here, you know, and you've been distant and here wanted a reconciliation. So 
regardless of the scenario i can give you guys 50 scenarios here so regardless this looks really positive okay and your person has some serious you're very much in their system all right they can get you out of their mind they can get you out of their heart and they have every intention of winning you back they have every intention of even having serious commitment with you all right that's what it looks like let's get you some messages here we have true love tarot um messages from the love tarot yeah the true love tarot deck i love this one so let's see uh let's see what does your person and take only the messages that would apply to you because some of the messages won't apply to you so because they're meant for somebody else so uh listen to your feel your heart chakra you would know when it's for you when it's not all right um i mean feel the vibrations coming through your heart chakra you know what i mean all right, what does your person want to say to you? If they could, what would they say? We have missing you. I miss you. I wish things were different. Huh? Yeah, I'm very much stuck on you. All right, we have soon. I'm going to contact you soon. Yay! Message is coming through and then father wounds. My father is a big influence on my behavior now as an adult. I have challenges with connecting to the divine masculine energy within me and externally. So maybe somebody here has daddy issues. Um, I think it's maybe, maybe your person hasn't had the best role models growing up, especially maybe not, whether it's father's absence for whatever reason, maybe some of them even lost their father at a very young age. And they haven't had the best you know role models growing up about relationships and all that stuff let's get a couple more let me go it says you deserve all the good things in the world and right now i am not in space to give you the the type of connection you deserve live your life and let me go i think this is maybe if this is they've tried to let you go several times um you know internally they try to let you go but they can't look at the devil twice here no matter how hard they try to run they, they couldn't they couldn't get far lost i feel lost without you yep one more message need time to heal right now i'm in space where i need to focus on my healing and self-love this isn't about you it's about me i think a lot of you guys this is the past energy when they were uh, when you were in separation when you were at it you know, maybe no communication okay i think they're coming out of this and this is why they want to return to you soon right actually let me, let me get one more let me get one more for you guys Some of you, it says here, unblock me, all right? It says, I miss you and want to connect. Please unblock me, literally or energetically. So if we can speak, I have a lot to say. So for those of you that you blocked your person, of course, guys, really use your discernment. If this is a toxic relationship you're dealing with and you don't want to open that can of worms, you don't want to go back, then don't. This is a general reading. Only take what really makes sense to you. Common sense, um, yeah. Because if it's you're dealing with somebody who's really destructive to your well-being and to your into your peace of mind, don't. Okay, so this is only for those of you that you think you know what. Maybe there's a future to this. You still have feelings for this person. I have, I have one more card. Oh, I have one more card. Spoiling you. It says I want to give you the good life. I want to spoil you with gifts and trips, everything you could ever need or want. You deserve nothing less. The honeymoon. All right. Oh, this one and also flipped. I'm sorry. I hate how much I've hurt you. I am so sorry for all the pain I've caused. You didn't deserve any of it. Well, there you go. There you go. All right, what else were we going to do? Um, let's see. What... What are the energies coming up within within this connection in the very near future? And remember, these energies can change. This is just what's coming up in the very, very near future, matter of days, hours, days, even weeks, right? What's coming up when it comes to this connection? Let's get 
five cards. We have three of swords. Somebody's still dealing with heartbreak. Ten of cups. Ten of wands. Eight of pentacles. And page of swords. So what you can expect coming up in this, in this connection is that, yeah, there's going to be some collaboration. You, you, they might be back by for, for some of you. All right. This three of swords, I feel like it's, it's passing. That energy is passing. The heartache, the pain is passing because it's followed by other cards, not as sad as this. The Ten of Cups is a happy card. It could be for some of you coming back together, reuniting, being in a relationship, but you still have a lot of work cut out for you with the Ten of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles, all right? The Page of Swords is a new, you know, it's like a embarking on a new thing. It's also communication, um, you know, maybe reestablishing communication. Even if you guys are not back together, like in, in you know, um, physically speaking, you will be talking, that kind of thing. So mending this broken heart. So good things are coming up for this connection in the very near future. And we have bottom deck energy, Knight of Cups. So somebody here is reaching out, uh, maybe asking you out, asking to see you, that kind of thing. So very, very positive, you guys. Um, let's see what spirit wants you to know. What spirit wants you to know about this connection? Unfinished symphony. So there's an unfinished business here. With You see 10. We have 10, 10, 10, 10. So there's going to be... 10 was like a, a conclusion of something, yeah? Which means something is coming back around, all right? So this unfinished business here about this connection and it looks like it's coming back around. Um, Yang, this is the divine masculine. This is um, taking action. So somebody here is taking action, right? Blessed, you, go, you are going to feel blessed. Okay, good things are coming, you guys. Good things are coming. It's almost like the bottom deck here, we have the 17th, which is the star, which is, it says here, the fates. This connection is fated for a lot of you, right? Let's get a couple more from the moonology. What flipped, expect. <laughs> we have new moon eclipse, expect powerful change. All right. You have to step out of your comfort zone. Somebody here is, is going to be stepping out of the comfort zone, putting effort in this connection. And I feel like for most of you, uh, you're divine masculine. So divine masculine, divine feminine has nothing to do with the gender. All right. It's the energy. So uh, if you're dealing with divine, you're the divine feminine dealing with the divine masculine. Um, this, your person is taking action. Okay. And stepping out of the comfort zone and actually taking action towards you. All right. What fell? believe in the impossible blue moon so for some of you you thought this would never happen or you know your person is never going to take action or whatever believe in the impossible prosperity lies ahead new moon in taurus so some of you dealing with taurus here um but i think we had pretty much all the signs here but what came through really really strong is capricorn taurus libra what else was it? I think. Yeah, I don't remember what's the other one. But I think we have a little bit of everything. Yeah, so that's all I have for you guys. So I hope you found this reading helpful. If you did, please like the video. Don't forget and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Group two, welcome if you've chosen Malachite and the Tarot Grand Lux. This is your reading. So let's see, what does your person, what's currently on your person's mind regarding your connection? What is your person thinking right now and feeling about you right now? About you and the connection. So these energies are 
subject to change. If this is just current thoughts and current feelings, okay? So, let's see. All right, well, what flipped? We have embrace, which is the world, right? We have open up. And move the chariot. Okay, so which is the world, the four of pentacles, and the chariot. Okay, let's clarify the cards before I say anything else. <laughs> All right, let's see. Please clarify embrace. Okay, we have seven of wands. So somebody here, which is interesting, is that this card, which would suggest, you know, being open, right? Open to new opportunity, open to new, to love or whatever. But it's clarified by the seven of wands, which is a card of resistance, a card of, uh, yeah, resistance, uh, keeping somebody at arm's length, um, yeah very defensive energy not being very open maybe they're overwhelmed maybe they have so many things coming at them from different angles and they feel very overwhelmed even though i feel like part of them wants to open up to you and confess whatever feelings thoughts um but they have this i think they're dealing with a lot it's just coming at them from everywhere what's with open up here the four of pentacles <sighs> Seven of Cups. So Seven of Cups is a card of fantasy, daydreaming. I think they fantasize about really opening up to you. They wish they could. I think, I feel like group two, there's a lot of things your person wanna to express to you and they don't, you know. Things, maybe they wanna to talk to you about things, about their day, things, what's going on in their life, but they don't, It's but it's mainly in their, in their head, yeah? They have these, I feel like they have this um, internal dialogue things that they're talking to you in their head, but they're not doing it in real life. Maybe they dream about having deep conversations with you or telling you some things uh, because they have this need about opening up to you, but they, they hold back. What's interesting, seven of cups is seven of wands. And seven is a number, on top of being a number that's very spiritual, but it's also a number of mystery, right? So, um, I feel like your person is pretty secretive about how they feel or what they're thinking. It's not easy for them to open up, right? It's, they're not an open book, which is another seven here, all right? The chariot. Please clarify. Please clarify the chariot. Page of Swords. So they want to move towards you. They want to take some sort of action towards you. But right now, I feel like they're just sitting back, observing, studying you asking people about you, looking at you over, over social media, um, spying on you. So if you're not talking to them, or if you're like completely disconnected from them, don't be fooled because this person is keeping an eye on you. And you won't even know, you won't even know because they're super secretive, okay? Um, it's almost like a ninja thing, <laughs> like a, they're a ninja. Um, if you don't have social media, trust me, they'll find other ways. Drive by where you live, ask people you know, you both know, that kind of thing. So, yeah, um, there's a curiosity about you here with a page of swords. Maybe they're wondering what you're up to, what you're doing, who you're talking to. Are you, have you moved on? Are you dating somebody? And I feel like there's a lot of thought, a lot of daydreaming about you and just being curious. Remember this type of reading is for those, you know, of course it's meant for those of you who are in some sort of challenging connections, right? A lot of you are in separation uh, that watch this type of reading. Um, and also pages are communication. Yeah, it's all about communication. So the chariot before takes action, he has to, you know, he has to think, right? He has to make a decision. So the decision they're thinking about reaching out to you, thinking about, opening up to you, talking to you, having this heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. So that's, that's a good thing, right? So let's see what's going on in their heart space. What's going on in their heart space? 
What's going on in my heart space? What's going on in your heart space? We have your dis uh, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. We have honeymoon, right? Enjoy this, uh, the bliss of holiday time together. Maybe for some of you, your person is anticipating seeing you during the holidays. It's a possibility, maybe travel. Like for example, if they're coming back home, you know, to their hometown, that kind of thing. This is specific to maybe one or two of you out there. Anticipating to see you somewhere. Maybe you both were supposed to meet up for some work function or some family thing or whatever, you know. Especially if those of you grew up together. It could be that, you know, maybe going back home for the holidays, yeah. Then we have engagement. Uh, we have your love life is ascending to a higher level of, of commitment. So let's clarify these cards. Oh, bottom deck, we have attraction. This person is still very much attracted to you. Uh, they, might, they might struggle with self-esteem, low self-esteem, feeling maybe they're not good enough or they don't know how to approach you. They want to be open to you. They could be, uh, your person could be struggling with shyness, extreme shyness as well. They have maybe a hard time expressing themselves. Not because they just cold, uh, they're a cold person, and just maybe they're just very hard for them, you know, shy, simple as, as that. They could be very shy. So let's see, love yourself first. What is this about? <sighs> what is this? Five of coins, which is the five of pentacles. Yeah, not feeling good enough, you know. Maybe um, they might be having some financial issues. Maybe they don't feel like they have enough. Um, it's mainly not feeling good enough for you. Maybe you might be out of their league, or that's how that's how they see it. Um, what's for the honeymoon? We have chariot in the reverse, which is interesting because this deck is not in the reverse, but this card came out in the reverse. So they want to come back, they want to travel to see you, but it came out in the reverse, which means there's a bit of delay here. All right. So twice here with the chariot. So what we have here, we have cancer energy, very, very strong. Um, we have other signs, we have other signs too, and water sign, which is uh, Pisces and Scorpio. We have fire, Sagittarius, Aries and Leo. We have earth, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And we have um, air, Libra, uh, Gemini and Aquarius, but mainly Cancer is coming up very strong because twice her chariot. All right, let's see. Please clarify engagement. Nine of Cups. Maybe this is engagement can talk about commitment. Uh, maybe this is something they're trying to manifest with a Nine of Cups. Or it can talk about maybe going on some an outing, maybe going out for drinks, yeah, um, to start going out, going out on a date first before you go, you know, you gotta, you gotta crawl or walk before you run, right? So, um, maybe they're trying to manifest you back in their life, they're trying to manifest this date, they want to go out and have drinks, get you drunk, that kind of thing, maybe they need a drink to lower inhibition so they can talk to you, not do anything else, but more like talk to you. Um, attraction, what is this about? Oh yeah, Knight of Wands, they still have that spark for you. Very much attracted to you. They're still there. If you're wondering, have they moved on? Do they even care? Do they still even like me? Absolutely, yes. All right, let's look at some messages here. But expect some delays, guys, group two. The reason being is because this, your person is still very much in their head. They're making all these plans and they have these wishes and they're observing. They're not just taking just yet action. But we're going to look later in a, in a little while to see um, what happens with this connection next. All right. But now let's see what the message is. What does your person want to say to you? What would they say to you if they could? What do they want to say to you? 
Why did I want to say to you? Playing games. This is a game to me. The way I'm acting, responding, opposing is to get your attention. So maybe for some of you guys, keep in mind, take the, the messages that resonate with you. Um, discard what doesn't because it might be meant for somebody else. Is it possible maybe, especially if you guys are still friends on social media, maybe they're posting some posts are meant to get your attention. It's possible. Or maybe this is past energy, how they were with you. Maybe just like, you know, wishy-washy, not keeping you guessing, you know, playing hard to get, that kind of thing. So, yeah. Let's see. What else? Emotional intimacy. I'm afraid to truly open up to you. Being raw and authentic with my emotions is something I'm still working on. Absolutely. Wasn't I talking about this? They have a hard time opening up. So sometimes, um, instead of being vulnerable and coming to you and having this heart-to-heart -heart conversation, they push you away. Maybe this is what the playing games is all about. They're afraid for you. They're afraid to express themselves. They're afraid for you to see through them. Yeah. Oh, all right. Excuse me. Feeling lost. This just fell on floor. I'm trying to make this work, but I feel so lost. I don't know what to do or say anymore. And it's easier to just stay in silence. Yeah. Observing. You have to be they're still dealing with some. I think it's like an inner struggle they're dealing with right now. They're not really taking action. They're still resolving some issues with themselves. We have we have two cards that flipped. We have your mind. I get so pissed knowing people can have you now. Okay, uh, let me read it again. It's, I get so pissed knowing other people can have you now. Is it toxic? Yeah, IDC. What, what is IDC? I, I like, I don't know what guys, what IDC stands for. I want the world to know your mind. <laughs> I gotta pause the video and I gotta search it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it means like, I don't care. <laughs> How come I don't know this? I mean, <laughs> I just didn't know it. It's like, I don't know the abbreviations when it comes to texting. So yeah, I'm so, I, I get so pissed knowing other people can have, you know. You know, which is interesting because that's, um, um, the Page of Swords is a jealousy card as well. You know, but at the same time, they're not doing anything about it. You know, so they are lost, they are confused. Wild side we have. There is a side to you I haven't seen and want to. And I want to see you let loose and get wild. Let's have some fun. So for those of you, your person wants, <laughs> wants to have some drinks. They want to see your wild side, right? Let's get a couple more. I'm clear. I don't know how to, how I feel about this connection anymore. There's a bit of confusion because maybe they, there's so much in their head that they're confusing themselves. But clearly, there's a, still attraction. There's still interest. There's still, you know, they, if they didn't have an interest, they wouldn't be spying on you. All right. No one compares. No matter how many people I've met and experiences I've have, there is no one who compares to you. All right. And then we have bottom deck here, we have soon. I'm going to contact you soon. So there's gonna be some sort of communication coming very soon. For some of you, matter of hours, some of you days, weeks. It's relative, really. Uh, what was else I was gonna do? Oh yeah. We're gonna do, okay, let's see. Where's this connection heading in the next few days, weeks? Where's this connection heading, group two? Where is this connection heading? I feel like a lot of you that have chosen this, maybe you, you know, maybe this is a failing new connection or maybe this is a crush that they have on, you know, somebody who has like a secret admirer thing or someone you've dated kind of pulled away, that kind of thing. Um, we have a four of wands, ten of swords, two of cups, eight of wands, 
and three of pentacles so they looks really really good the only card i don't like is the ten of swords but the ten of swords it is it's because it's accompanied with positive cards ten of swords could be because since i don't read re, uh, reversals for most unless unless the card comes out reversed um in this case the energy i'm taking the energy the meaning of a reverse ten of swords because it's followed by positive cards so which means that there's going to be some sort of communication there's going to be maybe you guys are going to have that heart to heart and you're going to know exactly where you stand maybe even start dating uh with your person coming back together uh communicating and all that um yeah i mean this looks pretty good a ten of swords could also just talk somebody who's just really very much in their head to the point of obsessive thinking which could be like maddening all right it doesn't have to be like like being stabbed here and being like it doesn't always have to mean like an ending um it could mean like someone who's very just like i said overthinking yeah to the point of exhaustion here so four of wands here spending time together maybe that's going to put an end to this overthinking right maybe they will be able to express some things to you maybe have the courage muster the courage to take you out ask you out because there's communication here and to me the three of pentacles is a card of collaboration but most of the time i see this card come out when two people or whatever people go out and go on some sort of a date meet somewhere talk exchange ideas exchange you know that kind of thing so it's a collab it's a collaborative type of energy corporation so yeah um it looks very positive guys so expect some sort of message some sort of return and this might happen even before the end of the year regardless where you watch when you watch this reading they're timeless readings all my readings are timeless this happens within a matter of days weeks even right uh what was i was gonna do all right let's see what spirit wants you to know about this connection group two what spirit wants you to know okay the fates which is uh 17 which is the star card so there's hope yet for this connection all right new life all right just be um there's gonna be like again maybe something you're gonna be excited about waking up in the morning something that's gonna be good positive but still be in your power okay be confident and all that the, your confidence your you know instead of being that that feeling of being great and all that taking care of you it's not contingent on any connection you do it because it makes you feel good you do it for yourself you know so being in this state of of bliss state of welcoming um opportunities blessings being confident feeling great in your own skin this is shouldn't be contingent on anyone or any connection this is just this is how you need to be moving through your life and this is who you need to become somebody who's very enthusiastic somebody who's very optimistic somebody who's very confident somebody who's mentally emotionally healthy that kind of thing take care of you put yourself first that's what spirit is saying regardless of what's happening with this connection or any future connection for that matter then we have observer observe this connection you are being watched okay you're being observed but it's telling you to take things slow as well all right and listen to your intuition we have the higher power here Very, listen to your intuition all right let's see monology let's get a couple of cards from here what else spirit wants you to know a win-win outcome is forecast full moon in libra so some of you dealing with libra so there's going to be a good outcome and we did see that with these cards okay be careful what you wish for all right the group two because if you're wishing to if you're trying to manifest them back into your life well guess what you're getting that just make sure this is what you want and the spirit is saying listen to your intuition and proceed with caution have faith in your dreams waxing crescent moon 
a new beginning, a new moon. One more. Expect powerful changes, new moon, eclipse. Yeah? So, so yeah. Oh, wow. Very positive reading. Positive energies coming through this reading part too. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. Uh, if you did, don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye. Group 3, welcome if you've chosen the Nightmare Before Christmas deck and Dalmatian Stone. This is your reading. So let's see, what does your person think about you and the connection right now? Right? What do they feel as well about the connection right now? These energies can can shift. We're just trying to find out what's in their head and in their heart at this very moment. We have take the lead, which is which is the three of wands. All right, somebody's in their thoughts here. Okay. We have choose your battles, seven of wands. And we have crown chakra, okay? So, so very interesting. For some of you, you might be at a distance or your person is at a distance from you, all right? I mean like whether emotional or physical one. Or it could be also maybe planning something here with this, but the seven of wands here, choose your battles. This is a very defensive energy. All right. And the crown chakra, which is, um, we'll see, we're going to clarify this card. It's too soon to say, let's clarify the cards first. Okay. Please clarify, take the lead. What is this about? There we have Knight of Presence, which is the Knight of Pentacles. So maybe this your person is thinking about showing up for you as a Knight of Pentacles, somebody you can count on, somebody who's uh, reliable, maybe making plans to return or to come back to you with an offer or something, but it's slow. We, we all know Knight of Pentacles is a slow energy. So it could be that their mind is in the right place, you know, making plans for the future. It could be also for some of you, thinking about what's their next move, where they're going from here, maybe focusing on their future, on their career, on their money, okay? Because the Three of Wands is also part of, you know, enterprise, you know, launching some sort of business or working on something. And uh, maybe they're very much thinking about their money right now and their career. So uh, what's with the Seven of Wands? nine of present which is the nine of pentacles again it's a card of money abundance uh, maybe your person is not really focusing i mean perhaps state but they're not really focusing on a serious commitment we have here knight of pentacles and the nine of pentacles which all about money and career could be that maybe focus maybe they don't they keep you at arm's length because maybe they're focused on money or it's a possibility they see you as the nine of pentacles somebody who's very successful somebody who who's grounded who who's got her her or his stuff together right um, and maybe that's why they kind of keep your arm's length maybe they don't feel like they're at your level so take what resonates and with Crown chakra, what is that? Please clarify. Seven of needles, which is the seven of swords. I'm not used to this deck, so. Okay, so somebody here is avoidant, okay? Not listening to their intuition. Um, somebody like, yeah, you might be dealing with an avoidant type of personality here. Someone who just, who's not emotionally available or who runs away or avoids intimacy or avoids deep conversation or avoids talking about their feelings. It could be very much maybe their focus right now could be focused on their career and not so much personal life, not so much their love life. That's a possibility. Um, so let's see what's going on in their heart space. What's going on in their heart space?
So I feel group three that your person is very much focused on the worldly things right now, on the material things right now, uh, on their lives. So that's why they're running away from you. That's what it looks like. So let's see. What's going on in the heart space? Passion. So yeah, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So there's an insane chemistry between you guys, how they feel with you. Let your friends help you. Maybe you guys, some of you are friends. It's a possibility, but if you are friends, maybe you're concealing this mutual attraction for one another. Um, or it could be maybe you have friends in common, or maybe they talk to their friends, or maybe they're getting advice from their friends. And then we have flirt. So here it says, extend your lighthearted energy to others. I feel for a lot of you, maybe you have, especially if you met at work or, you know, or school, maybe you spend a lot of time as friends, but there's always this flirtation going on between you guys. Uh, maybe give you mixed signals, like they're hot and cold, you know, because it could be detached and run away, but yet they have this insane chemistry. They're drawn to you. So if you guys are friends, know that your person likes you more than just friends, all right? Uh, there's definitely a interest, a physical interest here towards you. Um, this is attraction. Uh, so let's see, let's clarify the cards. Please clarify the passion. Seven of Cups. So Seven of Cups is a card of options, all right? So they do have attraction to you, but I feel like, again, your person is not, maybe they wanna keep their options open. Maybe for some of you, like I said, if your friends, maybe they're dating other people, but they still have this attraction to you and they haven't really communicated. Others of you, maybe you're dating, but they're not just exclusive with you. Maybe they want to keep their options open because they're not really focused on settling, settling down right now. So let your friends help you. What is this about? Please clarify. Ace of Needles. Ace of Needles. Ace of Swords. So Ace of Swords is a need for clarity. It's possible maybe they're talking to their friends about you. Maybe they need some sort of clarity. Maybe they feel sort of divided and they're running away. You know, they have this inner conflict going on. Maybe part of them wants to get close. The other part of them wants to stay away. They're a bit confused. That's why they can, they might, a lot of you are dealing with somebody who, who's hot and cold because of this confusion. You know, they're seeking clarity about this connection. Oh, they don't know where they stand with you. For some of you, you could be the runner and they don't know where the heck they're, they stand with you and they're just matching your energy. So they're mirroring you, yeah? If you're acting just friendly and unavailable, maybe they're doing the same thing. But it's all, it's almost like a bit of a deception for those of you in that situation because they, they feel deeper, but they're trying to keep things light, you know? Maybe they don't want to scare you off. Um, what's with flirt? Seven of candles, which is a seven of wands. Yeah, keeping things on the flirty. Okay, we have the seven of wands here. We have seven of wands here. So keeping things light, um, flirtatious, but not really, still keeping your arms length, not really committing or going deep, having some serious deep feelings, all right? Other than this card, we don't have other cups here. It seems to be more of, you know, passion and a lot of mental activity, a lot of thought, but there's a lot of physical energy here, really no emotion. So I feel like you're dealing with somebody who's really a bit detached from their emotions. But what they feel towards you is a lot of passion, a lot of attraction, but I feel like they want to keep it light. For some of you, they want to keep it casual. Yeah. And others of you that are just dealing with a friend or a coworker or whatever, they like flirting with you, but they keep your arm's length. So let's see the messages here. Let's see. What does your person want to say if they could? Feeling lost. 
I'm trying to make this work, but I feel so lost. I don't know what to do or say anymore. And it's easier to, to just stay in silence. Yeah, maybe, maybe they're confused. That's why we have the Seven of Cups here. So Seven of Cups is an option card, but it's also a card of scattered energy, of confusion, not knowing truly what they feel. Yeah, again here, they need clarity. So they're, they're a bit confused about their feelings. They're confused about your connection. There's a lot of confusion coming through here. And they're running away. They don't, they, there's a bit of emotional immaturity here, regardless if you're dealing with somebody who's 20 or somebody who's 60. There's an emotional immaturity here. Uh, I've seen people much older and very immature, and I've seen people very, very young as a reader. Okay, I've seen people, I deal with a lot of people. So I've seen people like so young and super mature. I mean, mature beyond their years. So it really has nothing to do with age, you know. Um, let's see what else? What else? Spirit. No one compares. To, no one compares. No matter how many people I've met and experiences I have, there's no one that compares to you. So maybe this attraction they have towards you, this pull towards you, no one compares. Maybe they they like this aspect with you. They're just so drawn to you. They don't understand it. Maybe they have this this pull towards you, this attraction to you that they have an experience with with someone else at this time. All right. Or maybe you're so nice to them that they, nobody compares to you. <laughs> you're mysterious. I can never seem to figure you out. Sometimes I feel like you're hiding something from me. Never really know where I stand with you. So maybe you're the one also who's very mysterious and uh, emotionally avoided and you're having this person who who doesn't want to scare you off and matches your energy, acts just as aloof as you do. That, that could be that for some of you. All right, let's get, let's get a couple, few more. My dreams. I've, I've been dreaming about you. In my dreams, we are free and in love. Wish I could stay there forever. So dreams, in dream world, the realm, it's non-threatening, it's safe, so this person really can express themselves and they have these beautiful dreams about you. Romantic dreams even, but in real life, they act standoffish and withdrawn and confused. Okay, what else? We have focused on money. Uh, we see we had money. Maybe this is why your person tries to not get too emotional about your connection because they're really focused on money. He says, I'm currently focusing on my career and finances. My main priority is financial stability. Maybe that's why they don't want nothing serious. Maybe that's why they want to keep it casual. They want to keep it. They're aware of the passion they feel towards you, but they don't want to invest emotionally just yet because their money and their finances and career very is very important to them right now. Last one. Last one. All right. Unclear. I don't know how I feel about this connection anymore. There's a lot of confusion. Yeah, we kind of saw this. All right. So for some of you, you have a good friendship with this person here. It says, you're my favorite. You're the person I want to call when something good or bad happens. You're the first thought when I have news to share. You're my person. For some of you, you have a friendship, but you you know it's deeper than that friendship. There's something more than that, right? All right. So I think that a lot of you are not really in separation, although some of you could be maybe distant. You come and get close and distance, close and distance. But I think a lot of you, you see this person all the time. You're just not, you know, they're not really open to you. Or maybe you're not open to them either. Uh, what was I going to do next? Yes. See, where's this connection heading? Where is this connection heading, group three? Okay. So, oh my goodness, how many cards flipped? Oh, five cards flipped. Wow. All right. So we have bottom deck, we have the five of wands, which is inner conflict, struggles, obstacles. So we have the high priestess. There's some things right now that are unclear to us as where is this connection heading. So we have the page of pentacles, we have the fool, we have page of swords and page of cups. So there's still communication uh, between, um, you know, um, with, with your person there's a lot of communication coming through there's still a lot of unknowns here okay um i see mostly communication having fun together maybe even seeing each other spending time together still having crush on one another but not 
anything serious just yet. We're looking at the next few days, few weeks, okay? But there's a lot of communication, a lot of exchange happening here between the two of you, all right? If you haven't spoken to this person, expect communication coming through for you, uh, yeah. Maybe even for some of you, maybe an apology, but it's mainly communication, all right? Uh, no relationship, I don't see relationship, but it's just maybe spending time together talking and that kind of stuff. Uh, what else? What spirit wants you to know? What spirit wants you to know? For some of you, this could be friends with benefits, okay? Some of you, like I said, you're still interacting with each other, but this person is very much focused on their career, not really giving you a real commitment as of yet, all right? What spirit wants you to know about this connection? Go to the sea. Go with the flow. Don't, don't, um, you know, don't, if they're not committing to you, if they're not exclusive with you, you don't, you, you shouldn't be exclusive with them either. You should have other options. You should, you know, this is about seeing where it goes, but not really holding on attachment to any particular outcome, all right? Deep knowing, and you already know this deep down. You're very, very intuitive. We have a lot of sevens coming through, the high priestess as well. So you may be super intuitive. You might even be a reader, a fellow reader like myself, or you might be just somebody who's very intuitive and you already know this, okay? Spirit is saying your, your intuition is on point. We have between worlds. So there's a bit of confusion here, right? And we have yin, which is, it's it's an inaction card. The yin energy, the principle, it's about being receptive, but not really acting, okay? It's not being proactive. So it's about you observing, waiting to see what, what happens, but not keeping all your eggs in this person's basket, all right? Go in with the flow, but at the same time, don't put your life on hold, all right? Um, what else? What else? Let's see, monology. The end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in Capricorn. So we have Capricorn here. Um, so that you're dealing with, it's maybe there's going to be some, some light. Maybe you're going to have some sort of conversation. Remember, we have a lot of messages coming through here, so conversations. Maybe you're going to be clear on what it is that you want, what, what you can expect with this person, all right? Um, we have, what do you need to release? Waning moon. For some of you, if this connection doesn't serve you, you might even come to a point where you have to realize maybe this is a connection you need to release only for some of you, right? Your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus, Taurus energy here as well. I think we have all the signs, but what's coming through is Capricorn and Taurus mainly. Um, we have... We have a lot of sevens coming through. Chariot is seven, even though we didn't have chariot here, but I feel like I'm pick, intuitively picking up on cancer as well, all right? So you could be daydreaming about each other, but as long as you guys don't have a practical plan about how to come together or come to some sort of agreement, you both could be working on your careers and all that, but still have some sort of agreement, as long as you know where you stand with this person. So maybe this heart-to-heart -heart conversation is long overdue. You both need to talk and, and you need to know where you stand. So guys, you're gonna have to, to have some confidence and, and, and confront your person and say, you know, ask them, where do you stand? Like that, you would know, okay, if they say, okay, let's work on this give me some time or whatever or if they say you know what I'm not interested then you know either way is a win-win because whether they invest more in this connection or whether they release you all right so there's gonna be because if you've been doing this for a few months or even a few years you don't know where you stand maybe this you need to come to terms somehow all right you can have this attraction to each other and all that but if you both are not investing and you're not being realistic and you're not putting like a practical plan in motion so you can be together can have a future together then you don't have anything so maybe there's gonna come to a point where you're gonna have to have this difficult conversation with your person all right so <laughs> we have bottom deck what's interesting I'd even see this card we have Aquarius so some of you are Aquarius or you're dealing with an Aquarius show the world the real you don't be afraid to speak up all right don't be afraid to reveal 
what it is that you want, what it is in your heart, what, you, what it is that you're thinking, because worst thing that can happen, they reject you. But guess what? That's freeing. That's going to liberate you. Because then you're not going to be hoping and dreaming. If somebody says, I'm not interested, then you can move on. All right? That's all I have for you guys. Group 3, I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope you found some clarity. Please like the video if you like the reading. Subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.